But first, here's a British comedian taking the mickey out of the Germans. Die gegenwärtige Pandemie und der Klimawandel haben eines gemeinsam. Sie kennen keine Grenzen uh, und zeigen uns. My mistake, that was of course the heir to the throne of Australia and Great Britain, Prince Charles, now selling his eco-fascist fantasy of the Great Reset to the Germans themselves. Or should I say, der große Neustart, as Klaus Schwab and his cronies call it in their native tongue. This is the grand plan developed by the World Economic Forum that we chatted to James Dellingpole about in cahoots with the United Nations, in league with the International Monetary Fund and supported by all sorts of prestigious institutions, including apparently the Crown of England, who have yet to disown Prince Charles's ever-increasing and unhinged rantings. This is the Great Reset, der große Neustart, promised to begin next year to transform all Western economies, including ours, by transferring the authoritarian tools currently being used to eradicate the coronavirus, i.e. lockdowns and forced business closures, even stealing your own property rights to tackle the imaginary climate crisis. Now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system. We have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. It is an opportunity we have never had before and may never have again. So we must use all the levers we have at our disposal, knowing that each and every one of us has a vital role to play. The Great Reset is a welcome recognition that this human tragedy must be a wake-up call. It is imperative that we reimagine, rebuild, redesign, reinvigorate and rebalance our world. Rebalancing investment, harnessing science and technology, and advancing the transition to net zero emissions, all elements of the Great Reset, are fundamental to building the future we need. You won't own anything and you'll be happy is one of their utopian communist slogans. Seriously. Not sure your subjects would agree with that one, Prince Charles. Uh, Prince Charles's decision to throw his lot in with these crazies and now sell this eco-corporate fascism in the German tongue is unfortunate timing, to say the least, because here's what the levers used to control the coronavirus are currently being pulled in Germany itself. Yes, that's water cannons the other day being used this weekend, in fact, against anti-lockdown demonstrations in Berlin, against protesters who were simply demonstrating against attempts by the Reichstag, sorry, Freudian slip, I mean, of course, the Bundestag, to enshrine new and even more stringent and draconian lockdown legislation, such as enforcing mask wearing, banning the sale of alcohol, shutting down shops, and so on. And after having hosed down the protesters, the Gestapo, sorry, I mean the German police, Freudian slip, then went door knocking, hunting down a man who dared to live stream the freedom protest. The police is gerade da. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday in Germany, that Prince Charles is what using all the levers available to us to enforce a political doctrine looks like totalitarianism. You of all people with your family history, Charles, shouldn't really be wandering around spruiking corporate quasi-fascism in the name of saving the planet. What a joke. 